Hi there, my name is Johnny from Man and Machine. In this video, we're going to be looking at Autodesk Build, uh, but specifically looking at the Smart PDF function inside of it. Uh, so if you haven't seen my video already of an overview of Autodesk Build, I would watch that first, just so you have an idea of the wider kind of picture um, and what Autodesk Build can actually do for you. We're going to be doing some deep diving into some specific functionality inside of this video, which might uh, be a little bit more involved um, and kind of not give you the right context if you haven't seen that wider video. Um, so to jump straight into it, we're actually looking at the build um, module in the London Hospital 2021 project I've got set up, and we're looking at the forms area inside of here. So everything to do with my checklist, my forms, um, so my safety or my quality inspections, things like that, they would all be in this area. Um, and in this first tab uh, in the forms area here, I have everything that's either in draft, so in progress, or uh, submitted um, submitted forms in here um, and I can actually put these in separate folders as well so it's really nice to organize uh, those forms inside the platform. Inside the templates tab we've got all of the templates so this is where I build my checklists um, so um, this would be where I create the folder structure for the forms. Uh, I'd also um, actually be I can create subfolders if I want to I can archive in here archive any checklists that are in here um, and actually, when you're creating checklists in Autodesk Build, there's actually two ways of creating them. I'm not going to show you uh, the other way, but one option is to upload an existing PDF. So that's using the Smart PDF function. And there is actually also the Build form or the Build a New Form option, which if you use BIM 360 Build is exactly how that works. So it's a very rigid format. Um, it allows you to create sections, questions, so true, false, pass, fails, multiple choice points, create automatic issues, things like that. Um, but it's very rigid format. And so in this platform now, we have the option to use those smart PDFs, which is really going to allow you to continue with your existing sheets. So if you already have uh, quality inspection sheets, perhaps that people are using on site um, in a paper format, you can turn that into a smart PDF and essentially just digitize that process. Make sure all of that information is available to you as metadata that you can then uh, interrogate um, and then have easy access to. It's not something crumpled up in a drawer somewhere perhaps. So what I'm going to have to do before I show you how this works is I'm just going to show you how you actually set up a smart PDF. Um, it's going to be the easiest thing really to kind of show you the, the process from start to finish. So I have a safety um, checklist here. It's just a general safety checklist. Um, and what this is, this is just a PDF. So you can imagine maybe I've got my paper copy that I have then PDF. Once you've PDF'd it, there are multiple different PDF platforms that can do this, but you'll need to actually create these um, sections that you can then fill in. So in this Adobe DC, the way that this works is I would click on prepare form, and essentially I can add text boxes, I can add um, check boxes, date pickers, signatures, etc. And that's what I've done here. So I've gone down this list, um, and there's some really smart things you can do in here. So if I just double click on this real quickly, um, I've actually named each of these what the questions are so that when I export this information to an Excel sheet, I actually I can get all of this information back out as metadata in an Excel sheet if I wanted to. Um, some other really smart things that you can do as well is you can actually put names in here that reference information within your project. So for example, my company name is something that's going to be available against my user. So whoever's filling this in is going to have a specific company and you can actually get these to fill in automatically from um, Autodesk build. So things like project name, um, project address, um, all of those kind of things you can actually just pull straight from the project. It will fill them in automatically. It'll save anybody on site that little bit of extra time. So this does take a little bit of time to set these up, but once you've done that, you, you only need to do that once. You can just save these PDFs and then load them into any projects that you want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'll load this into um, Autodesk Build and I'll show you what it looks like when you start off that checklist. So if I go to create, I'm going to create a template. I'm then going to go to upload an existing form. Uh, if I click next, I then just need to find that file. So if I just head to the place where I've got those saved. So I'm going to grab my checklist here, uh, open this up, just need to load it in. And then from here, what I can do is all of that smart PDF functionality is then going to be loaded into this project. There's a few other things I need to do. Um, so I'll just pop a two on the end of this so it doesn't duplicate. Set this to safety. And I can add things like weather, and I can also add extra notes in here if I wanted to. And if I click next, 
Uh, one of the other options you get as well is actually to have multiple contributors in a sequence, or you can just have single contributors to this checklist. Really depends on kind of how this checklist works when it goes to site. I'll just choose the single contributor, keep it easy. Um, I can then add reviewers as well. Um, once I've hit create, I've then created my template. So now this is available for anyone on site to use and to actually create a checklist from. Um, so to do this, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll do one on the desktop first and then I'll actually show it working on uh, the tablet. So this is my uh, checklist because the folder structure is created by the templates. This one's just sitting outside of the folders at the moment. So if I click new report, this is going to open up the ability to be able to fill this in. And we can see here actually what it's done is it's taken my company, Man and Machine. It's taken the project title automatically, the location as well for the project automatically. Uh, and I didn't have a contract number against this project, so that one is empty. But that just saves that extra little bit of time when you're on site, uh, filling those options in. Uh, and then what I do is I would just fill these checkboxes in. And the cool thing about the Smart PDFs as well is you can actually stop um, people from being able to fill in multiple tick boxes here. Um, so you can see if I tick on one, it only fills in one. So I'd fill all of this in, um, and then I've got a couple of uh, little bits at the end here. I can add a signature, uh, which is exactly how it would work on the mobile device as well. Um, and I've got just a text field for the date there. Um, but really easy to set up. And if you imagine maybe someone's been really used to filling this in on paper, uh, it's really not that different for them when they see this in this PDF format. They're just filling it in with either a, a mobile device or a tablet or something along those lines. Um, so it's going to be very minimal change. It's just a digital format for them. Uh, so once I finish that off, I would hit Submit. Uh, so looking at the iPad or a tablet, uh, we've got our application that we can use here. Uh, so I can access uh, pretty much everything from my tablet uh, in relation to this project. I can grab my forms. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, because I haven't reloaded this yet, I'm actually going to use the one that I have previously. Uh, if I just hit the little plus symbol at the top here to start this um, checklist off, I can click on that PDF in exactly the same format. Uh, this one just didn't have the location loaded in. And then exactly the same as before, I can use my tick boxes. I've got the option at the end here to add my signature. I can hit save, and then I can choose to submit this. And there's actually loads of other things I can add as references to this. So I can use the camera to add photos. I can add files to this. I can add other issues, other forms as well to this, um, assets. Uh, so really looking at that thread of information that is being pulled through from um, everywhere within the project. So if I just hit submit, and that'll then submit that checklist. And then that's in a digital format for me to be able to look at later and to reference um, in that PDF, a nice PDF format. So I hope this has been useful. Uh, it's been a little video on smart PDFs. If you have any questions, please do get in touch with us here at Man and Machine.